Hi, this is Anthony, and in this tutorial I will show you how to create a sketch to video in Explain to Your Video Creator EVC 2.0 Pro. This is a new version that is released in July 2015. To learn more about the new features and new user interface in EVC 2.0 Pro, check these videos on my YouTube channel. So first let me just show you the video that I created, and then I'll show you how to create it. I basically applied a couple of filters in Windows Movie Maker, but you don't have to do that. So here is the video. Okay, so I am in Windows Movie Maker, and the reason I use this uh, is to basically apply a couple of filters before I get it to do the explain to magic and the sketch to video. So Windows Maker is free uh, if you've got Windows 7 uh, and above. So essentially what I've done is, as you can see, I've loaded the uh, the video already, but uh, if you are in Windows Movie Maker, what you do is click on this Add Video button and then uh, you know, just choose the video and then say open. So I already got it here, and as you can see, it's a, it's a fairly short clip, about 22 seconds, or 23 seconds. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the visual effects right here, and what I want to do is I want to apply, um, you know, the filter. I'm going to apply a first a black and white filter, something like this, or maybe something like this. And then I'm going to apply this little posterize. Okay, so what I'd like to first do is, because you need to split the video, uh, I'm going to go to Edit, and then I'm going to about, uh, you know, three, yeah, about three seconds in, I'm going to, or maybe even here, this portion right here, yeah, maybe three seconds. Three seconds in, I'm going to split the video, and then I'm going to take another three seconds and then split it again. So then I'll move this slider right here, go to the visual effects, and I'm going to apply this one right here and then move the slider to this portion and then posterize it. Okay, so basically it's going to play like this black and white, then posterized, and then to the live video. And I'm not going to play the full video because it's even though it's 22 seconds, it's quite long. And I'm going to stop it actually just before, just around here. I'm going to cut that video right there and say end point. So it basically is about what, 13 or 14 seconds. And then once I've done that, I'm just going to save the video. I'll name it uh, Canada Coos. <coughs> Sketch to video. And then save it. So once you've edited your video in Windows Movie Maker, you need to convert it to MP4 format at 24 frames per second. Bear in mind that you don't need to do this extra work like I mentioned in Windows Movie Maker. You can directly just take your video and upload it to Explain to you in MP4 format at 24 frames per second. Okay, so I'm on this website called on Online dash convert.com to convert my video to mp4 format at 24 frames per second. Um, this is a free website that allows you to do that, uh, but you can also use the uh, converter that's available in Explainedio. So what you want to do is go to this section right here on the home page that says video converter and then use this uh, drop down box uh, or arrow to choose the format, in this case uh, mp4 format. And then once you do that, uh, it's going to bring you to this uh, little page here. And in this section right here is where you need to upload your file. So basically click the Browse button, you know, choose the file, and then click Open. And then once you've done that, um, you will see that the file has been uploaded. And then you basically just scroll down. And in this section right here is where you need to enter 24 in this section right here to change it to 24 frames per second. And then click this uh, Convert File button. And um, once you 
um, once the file has been uh, successfully converted, you'll get this message and you will see this dialog box uh, pop up. Uh, you basically just uh, choose the save option and then click this OK button. And once the file has been downloaded, um, you can check the uh, download section. Now this will depend on which browser you're using. Uh, I'm using Firefox and this is the uh, download section. If you click on that you will see the downloaded file and uh, it'll take you to the um, to the folder where it's downloaded. You can then move it uh, to whatever folder you want to move it to. Alright, so uh, once you've got your video in MP4 format at 24 frames per second, it's time to do the magic in Explaindio. So open up your application, uh, Explaindio, this is um, 2.0 Pro, and then create a project by clicking this button. I've already created mine called the test, and then click this button that to add a new uh, slide, and click this button that says create new scene, and then this button that says add video, add video from local storage, and then I'm going to choose the, the video, say open, and then it's going to load the image. As you can see, it's sort of um, created a sketch, and then I'm going to say add. It's going to vectorize the image. Just give it a couple of seconds, and once it's finished doing that, it's going to um, load it onto the canvas, which it's doing right now. Right, well, it's a loading sketch, and there you have it. Uh, what I'm going to do is, as you can see, this white portion is a canvas and this one is a video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go full screen proportional and it enlarges it and stretches it to the, um, basically fitting it onto the canvas. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to close the canvas and as you can see it starts sketching. Now because there's so much of detail, the sketching is going to take a little while longer. So what I'd like to do is I'd go to action before. Uh, this tab right here and I'm going to reduce the slider here that says action duration so as you can see if I move the slider to the left the sketch is a bit faster that way you know you don't have to wait too long um, it's not too bad maybe I can make it a little faster too okay so but that's what it does it sketches the thing and then as you can see it transitions to the video and um, as you can see the first filter is applied there and then that's the next filter, and then from there it'll go to the live video, which is this one right now. You can then click this um, create video button or icon right up top, and then um, save the video by clicking this uh, export button right here. And, um, you know, once you've done that, um, you basically um, it'll save the file. So this is what the finished um, video or sketch to video looks like again. Uh, what I will do is I will play both the videos, one with the filters uh, applied and one without the filters so you can see the difference. So I hope you found this useful. Uh, you can check my YouTube channel for more Explained Your tutorials. Um, if you've got any questions, uh, you, know, you can feel free to leave them in the comment section. And um, thanks for stopping by. Cheers.